Welcome to the Boiling Point. I am Richie Ware and this is Steven Taylor and we are back talking a little bit about some exhaust gases, but we're going to talk about it some different ways and that is flue gas recirculation, which is FGR. Yep. So I, you always hear that term. I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk a little bit about this. So Steven, why don't you take us through FGR? Flue gas re recirculation. What we're doing, we're trying to um, minimize the amount of oxygen we're pulling into the boiler, fresh makeup air. Nitrogen, when you're firing gas, the only way you can get NOx is by turning the nitrogen that's in the oxygen you're pulling in for combustion, you're turning that nitrogen into NOx. We get up above 2,500 degrees in the, in the combustion, you start forming what's called thermal NOx. It's strictly created by the combustion process itself. Burners are designed for a, a flow of volume of air to get to get the proper combustion in order to replace that oxygen we would just pull flue gas has no oxygen in it very little you know three four five percent <clears throat> and so we pull that in to get the volumetric combustion air we need to get proper combustion and that's pulling flue gas in that lowers the amount of nitrogen coming in, that lowers the NOx. That's how we go from, this standard burner will do about 70 ppm NOx uh, without FTR. You add the FTR, we can get down 30, 25, 22. We can get down a lot lower strictly by, by introducing the FTR and getting that nitrogen content down out of that makeup air. So we're trying to get the flue gas back to the burner on this mm -hmm. side. How are we actually doing that? It, it, this one is coming through a connection that, that Victory uh, designs in the shell itself in the very, right before it goes into the stack. So it comes from there. And, we, and you know, there's a little bit of pressure there, but not a lot. So this burner, this blower has to be designed to actually suck that. Okay. We gotta have a, a vacuum here. We gotta be able to suck that. So we have a, and we have to be able to control it. You can't let it go wide open because when, when you start up, if you have that, damper sitting wide open, you're gonna have way too much FTR, you can't control the flame, so a lot of control stuff. So on the auto flame, we put this uh, FTR damper in there, then we have a servo on there, so when we do the performance curve, we adjust this damper to get the NOx we want throughout the entire combustion curve to get a good, good smooth introduction. The way that we force that blower to suck FTR is to also put a damper on the combustion air inlet. So we'll crank this down to force that blower to suck FGR in to get the combustion mix we want. And again, that damper, that's controlled, that's uh, uh, commissioned in, in that commissioning curve, it's programmed in to where it's, it's setting just right where we can get exactly what we're looking for throughout the combustion range. Now we've done this a little bit different on this boiler. Mm -hmm. um, I guess our, our rentals are different on our where we're different. actually pulling the exhaust from, right? Yeah, and when we do it out in the combustions or in the customers' uh, facilities as well, anytime you have an economizer, this economizer was added, added after the fact. Uh -huh. So anytime you have an economizer, you want to take that FGR downstream of the economizer. In other words, above that economizer. The cooler this FGR temperature is, the easier it is to bring that NOx level down. Because again, we're trying to get that combustion temperature keep that combustion temperature down below 2,500. So if you're bringing in, you know, we're bringing in 385 degree temperature here. If you can drop that down to 312, 320, by coming in on the downstream side, right. that just makes it that much easier to keep that NOx number down and to get even lower NOx numbers without having to do anything weird to the burner itself. Is there any type of efficiency that you're getting when you actually do this with the FGR? Actually, you're not. You're not, not working on efficiency at all. All you're doing is trying to get your NOx, get your work on your missions, get your NOx numbers down, keep your CO numbers down. That's all you're working on with FGR. Okay, good. All right, well, there you have it. A little bit about FGR. Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us, talking about the flue gas recirculation, FGR. Now there's a lot of folks that are continuing to watch our channel um, and we appreciate all you guys doing that. If you are new, there's about 500 plus videos that you can go through all the information, catch Steven, Gerald, and many others to talk about a lot of different technical topics. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
And as always, share the videos. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.